It's a case of varicose ulcer. I want you to have a look, please. Are you pore kichu ache? Ruben, if you can help. Kulbe, pen. Do you need to open? Varicose? Yes. Yes, it's varicose. Huh? It's varicose veins because, as as we can see, she is she is. He has a. Um, if you can vein pathology, at least we can see it here. So if, if you can come up, please. He has here. Well, he will have it in here. So the blood stays in there. The liquid goes outside of the of the blood vessels. You see the varicose veins are mm -hmm. here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you can explain. If if it it's by gravity, the the blood stays in there because there's a lack of circulation back. And the the liquid makes uh, water retention in there, mm -hmm. so the th the skin becomes thinner and thinner and thinner, and until it ulcerates and starts oozing. That's a that's a varicose vein. And uh, usually there is something with lack of exercise uh, or liver. 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 Uh -huh, yeah. Any 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 management wise you will suggest? Uh, sclerotherapy would be uh, compressive uh, compressive socks, and uh, for example, to to dry the the ulcer mm. will be indolent ulcers yeah, ulcers yeah. medications, uh, calendula tincture. Yeah, yeah. We had given him calendula ointment. You saw that everyone, a varicose vein on the right leg and the varicose ulcer. You see the varicose yes, veins here. Yes, yes. Yeah. On the right he side. He's a farmer. Yeah. Is it related with that? No. He does farming, so is it related with that? No, 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 no. no it's, it's chronic venous insufficiency. Mm. Seems like a hepatic patient. I mean, his polarity could be hepatic. So he came to us with this ulcer which was oozing. He also has a lot of pain above the ulceration which is better by massage. He did a color Doppler study. If you can have a look. He has back pain worse in the moon phases. Again. Ondokushta phala chilo. He says there is a little bit of swelling in his left scrotum as well. So, possibly due to the venous insufficiency. Yeah. You see, there is a lot of blackening as well in his left foot. You know, I am coming to that. Yeah. He is anxious, worried because of the ulceration. He's a hot person who likes sweet. Thirst is average. Did everyone see the blackening? Right? Blackening? Um, if you have this blackening with pus, this is, is it a more like a pus, Ruben? No. More like a discharge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought as well. Blackening with pus, you recall I have shared with you gunpowder. Blackening with itching or cracks, graphitis. You recall this? But whenever you have blackening due to circulatory causes, please do think of carbo animalis. Animal charcoal, you know animal charcoal, the color is black. And whenever you have blackening due to circulatory disorders, carbo animalis. I want you to open Borke, please, for carbo animalis. We started in this case with carbo animalis. 200 C. Have a quick look in Borike, please, for carboanimalis. If you haven't used this medicine, there's a very classic example of carboanimalis. 
it does not mention Borike about the blackening, but that is the doctrine of signature. If you open a Carboanimalis and Borike, you will see it is mentioned, seems specially adapted to scrofulous and venous constitutions. You understand the venous here is the veins, tassis is there. Old people after debilitating disease with feeble circulation, you understand the circulation is poor, lowered vitality. Glands are indurated, veins are distended. If you look in the skin section, spongy ulcers, copper color eruptions. And you can have burning in carboanimalis, if you see in the skin last line, burning. Look in the extremity section please, easy discoloration, it is mentioned, third line, extremities, easy discoloration. You got that everyone? I repeat again the points of carboanimalis in a case with poor circulation, right? Hear me out please, you can take a note later on. In a case with poor circulation, you can have poor circulation resulting in blueness, which carboanimalis can help you as well. In a case of Raynaud's disease, you know in Raynaud's there is poor circulation to the extremities, the skin turns blue, carboanimalis can help you. B, in a case of circulatory imbalance, which is causing blackening with ulceration or with a discharge. Either there can be burning or there can be coldness. Why coldness? Carbons. You know all carbons have coldness. Carboanimalis can help you. Cases of Raynaud's, cases like this where you have a varicose ulcer with a pathology, carboanimalis is a very useful prescription, right? Why not carbo -wedge? carbo wedge can have blueness, carbo wedge will have lots of debility. carbo will not have the same degree of debility. Can be, but uh, just with skin cases, you know, just if you want to differentiate based on skin, carbo wedge will be more blue, more weak. But carbo may not have the blueness, it can have the blackening with due to the circulatory factor. You understand what I mean? Again, a case where the prescription was based on the pathology more than the symptoms, to be very honest. Right? The pathology of stasis, the pathology of venous insufficiency, the pathology of a ulcer, but the symptom wise, I just had the blackening. You understand what I mean? Good point. Hamamelis, I will say it is more bleeding with a varicose ulcer. If I would have got, you know, if this ulcer was bleeding heavily, I would have definitely thought of Hamamelis and dark hemorrhage but here is just you can see this just like an oozing you know there is no hemorrhage at all with that hamamelis is really useful if you have either hemorrhage or there was a history of injury to it right in both ways hamamelis can help sometimes in these cases if you would have told me that it's bursting thug, 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 bah, it's going to burst out have a look in borike please for vipera v i p e r a vipera Another fantastic medicine for varicose veins. Look in Vipera, please. The, 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 it's like a bursting sensation. Especially if the legs are allowed to hang down. Hang down. So, you know, like hanging the legs. Yeah, you get the bursting sensation. I repeat again, hamamelis, if I would have had a history of injury, A or B, there would have been hemorrhage from that ulcer, I would have definitely thought of hamamelis. Vipera, if there was a bursting sensation, no other medicine will tell you that, it's my legs are going to burst out. Bursting sensation in a case of varicose or with venous diseases, especially when the legs are hanging down. You got that everyone, Borike, Vipera, V-I-P-E-R-A, it's a, it's a snake. Can be even applying, you know, local application as well can help as well. But, you know, I just saw him once, so I thought, let me see with carboanimalis, you know. I gave him calendula to apply because he's working in the field, so there's a chance of secondary infection with the ulceration. So, as an antiseptic, I gave him calendula to apply or the local ulcer. You got Vipera, everyone? Right. Varicose, you can put these three medicines in your clinical tips, carboanimalis, hamamelis, Vipera. These are very useful medicines for varicose veins or venous diseases. Come check to Agatha. I saw him on December 30th, that was the first visit. Kita Komich. He says there is a, you see with his hands, Kirum Dakhahato, Dakhahato. There used to be a contracted feeling, he says that is better. 
কালো ভাবটা কমেছে দা ব্ল্যাকেনিং ডিফারেন্স অফ দ কালার right he says it has reduced is just to this point right now you follow what i mean a boosting today carbo animal is 200c one dose and calendula to apply locally you got the points for carbo animal this ulceration if it's it's heals up completely i will think of a constitution medicine Uh, tubercular tubercular psychotic medicine because varicose is tubercular and the elevation is psychotic so i'll think of a tubercular psychotic medicine as soon as you know it it dries up good question from alan when will i think of a constitutional medicine because his major concern is the ulceration and you understand his occupation is working in the field so there are a lot of chances of secondary infection if you know he's working barefoot many many a times so my first um point is to take care of the ulceration so that it completely heals up and then i'll focus on a constitutional remedy to take care of the varicose veins in general you understand what i mean the boosting today mm-hmm.